Every year, beautiful gardens are ruined by slugs and snails who aren't deterred by beer traps, eggshells, coffee grinds, or other home remedies. If you really want to keep slugs and snails from destroying your garden, you need a proven treatment. And nothing is proven to be more effective than products that contain meta-active ingredient such as Cory's and Deadline. These products are specifically developed to rid your garden of slugs and snails only, and they do not harm beneficial organisms like bees, earthworms, and beetles. Simply spread the pellets or meal evenly throughout the garden right before dusk, just before slugs and snails come out for their nightly feedings. Liquid paste is just as easy to apply. Always follow the directions on the package for proper application tips and treatments. It's really just that easy. So if you want to get serious about slug and snail control, look for products with the Meta logo. At Marquee, our goal is to enhance our customers' lives by providing quality products in a pleasant shopping environment. You can feel comfortable knowing our customer satisfaction guarantee and price match policy helps ensure every purchase you make at Marquee will be your best decision. Come visit Marquee today and experience for yourself how you too can turn your life into a lifestyle with the help of Marquee. Marquee, we're your casual living store in Tiger, Clackamas and Salem. The sun and the earth, pure, natural. Is there a better blend of organic? For your garden, there's Black Gold All Organic Potting Soil. It's 100% organic. You'll see the OMRI listing right on the bag. It's perfectly balanced with quality natural ingredients and an organic fertilizer. Unlike other brands, Black Gold contains earthworm castings, the purest form of plant food. Black Gold, your recipe for a natural garden. Sold only at local independent garden centers. For the one nearest you, log on to sungro.com. I think all gardeners at some time or another have either a cracked or broken pot. Many times we might throw them away, but Betty Daggett has a way of repairing them. Betty, nice to be here with you today. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a pot that at one time this piece was completely gone, right? It was mm -hmm. off of here. Yes. And then you glued it back on some way and made a mosaic out of right. it. Right. So show us beginning to end what you do here. Well, I. I have to clean the pot first so that I have clean surfaces and I use mortar as my glue because I'm a mosaic artist sort of and so I use and that. Let me interrupt. This is the mortar, right? Right. This is, is the use. mortar okay. and I mix it with this admix instead of water and that way it'll uh, take variances of temperature better and I'll, I'll just paint some of the, the uh, mortar around here and then I will inset this piece. And then I'll use maybe a piece of um, Here, I'll hold this up for you. masking tape once it's been glued to hold it, hold it in place. And then it takes 24 hours for the mortar to set up well. And then I, I'll probably add this piece at the same time since I tape it. And then it'll be together. And then after 24 hours, I'll see how it's all fitting and everything. And then I'll, I'll be ready to mosaic over. And I make sure that I go over the seams mm -hmm. that I've, I've mortared together to uh, increase the integrity, integrity of the pot. So if we took this off just to show viewers, this was another piece that was right. off of here. Right. And this is just mortar? Right. With That's, mortar and this? Yes. You mix it up into a mix like this. And then you so just do one on it so we see about how much you'd put on. What would you do here? Okay. And I'd, I'd do that all along. Okay. And, and then I would set it in here. And then I, with my gloved hand, I would, I would just kind of clean it up. And then I'd use masking tape to hold it in place. Okay. Okay. And, that, and you'd let that set for how long, maybe? 24 hours. 24 hours, okay. Okay. Then what? Then you can mosaic on it. And then you'd wait another 24 hours, and and then you could grout it, which you use a sanded grout. Okay, and so let me interrupt you just a minute. This has been grouted. This has been grouted. This so has this been, is done. This that's finished, as okay. well as the two pots on the end. But how about this one? This one has only been mosaic. It hasn't been grouted yet, so it still has a pretty rough look to it. Okay, so when you grout it, that's this material right here. Right, and it's mixed with this admix also. Okay. As, as so the you liquid. Mix, mix this and this together. And right? and you say use this same mix to put with your grout. 
Okay. And so then the grout would fill in all these places Right, here. and you get a nice smooth finish. So. Okay, and this is, I mean, you could plant it here. This is pretty. Oh, yeah. Pretty sturdy. It's not yeah. going to pop out or something. Right. I've got pots that I've, I've done like four years ago. That are okay. And they're all right, or they'll start to peel somewhere where I haven't fixed it, and then you just keep adding to the, to to the, the pot. Yeah. Okay. So, so here, let me just say, this is an example where there's a piece out of here. You've taped it mm -hmm. on here, right? And then this is one that's not been grouted. But it's been mosaic. Mosaic. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that's one that's... Well, those two are both Those two done. are, I had peeling rims. I didn't even try to, to add back the piece that had fallen off. Okay. So I just mosaic the whole rim. So that, that is really gonna be a tough pot now because the rim is the most vul vulnerable part. All right. And then the, maybe just hold up this tray here of things. So these are the kinds of things yeah, you Yeah, these are use. just the kinds of things that I use. It's tile and the, the flat marbles. You can use broken dishes. Okay. Uh, or just about or anything. Broken ceramic pots. If or you have broken to. ceramic pots, yes. Okay. I've got a pot over here that I've done the whole pot. Once you put the grout in here, is that it? Uh, no, you wait 24 hours for it to set up well, or maybe a little longer, and then you seal it with a water sealant, just like you would your, your tub area okay. when you do a tile. And then that's the final process. Then. That's the final process. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.